So we've been hearing what South Korean and American military and government officials have to say about that in Korean soil. On one hand, it's a system that could better protect the South Korea from a North Korea's nuclear missile threats. But there are voices of concerns and oppositions in and out of the country. Our Oh Soo Young finds out where the people stand on the deployment decision. It appears most South Koreans are in favor of placing THAAD, the U.S. ballistic missile defense system, in the country. I think it's important. It will help deter North Korea's nuclear ambition. And as for relations with China, Korea will gain leverage in terms of geopolitics. In terms of national defense, I think it's a good idea to adopt the system. While I do feel that is needed, various factors should be considered, like the financial burden it can create and the fact that Pyongyang is always changing its attitude. Of course, I agree. I heard that China is against the deployment because it can affect their national security. But for South Korea's own security, the system is needed. A survey conducted by Seoul-based Yonhap News Agency and Korea Broadcasting System found more than two-thirds of South Korean adults support the deployment. And the majority support was true, regardless of their political orientation. Over 82 percent of ruling party supporters are in favor of the deployment. For the People's Party, it was 64 percent and 53 percent for the main opposition, the Minju Party. By age, the level of support is polarized. The younger generation and those 50 or over largely favor the deployment, while people in their 40s are more divided on the matter. Seoul and Washington are due to begin talks on that deployment this week, in response to North Korea's latest long-range missile launch. On inter-Korean relations as a whole, the survey found South Koreans are split between taking a hard and soft-line approach to Pyongyang. Those in favor of a tougher approach want stronger sanctions and would consider military solutions to dismantle North Korea's nuclear program, while 40% prefer to deal with issues through dialogue. Also Young, Arirang News.